Greetings YouTube, Marvel 4 with Great American Survival. This week we're looking at the Firewater Survival Aegis. This thing is really cool. Man, that thing is neat. This is the lid. Um, I've already shown you the picture of it as I took it apart. Man, I made a mess. Um, oh, I'm dropping parts. Sorry guys. Uh, that's a little stick piece. There's that. We got a bunch of little pieces, guys. Holy cow. This is all the little stuff that's in here. We got some fishing equipment. This is really cool, guys. Uh, this, as you see, started off as a little key fob, little kind of fire uh, survival grenade kind of thing that you see a lot of. But this one, I like this. You could easily use the lid as a signaling device. You could use the bottom as a signaling device. But the bottom is a stainless steel cup. Stainless steel, 75 milliliter collapsible stainless steel cups. And it has a four inch wire, which is this, I guess. And this is meant to go across here as a handle. So you could hang it from either the piece of wire here, I guess, or from something else, a stick, whatever, and boil. Uh, yes, it's a very small amount of water, but guys, we're talking about a survival situation, not I'm going camping for the weekend. This is what I'm gonna take to boil my water in. This is in case of an emergency, guys. Um, anywhere, you know, being stuck somewhere, but um, there's so many different details to this. I like this. Um, there's a fire starter kit, which has the magnesium um, plank and the ferro rod. Um, it comes with a very small hacksaw blade right there. So you can you know, scrape off your magnesium and then strike it with your fire and get it going. That's pretty cool. Gave you a very small piece of nylon cordage meant for you to run through this and make yourself a lanyard to keep all your kit together. Um, you could even, after you took this out of the wrapper, you could run it through the blade on this um, and keep it all together. Uh, if you've seen anything on any survival shows, you see people lose their ferro rod. That is not what you want, especially if you're actually having to open this thing and use it. That is neat. I like that. The little cup is so cool. If you grew up like me in the 80s and 90s, we had the little plastic traveler cups. But this one's different. This one's 70, uh, 75 milliliters. It's stainless steel. It's just cool. I like the fishing kit. It's got a number, what did it say? It says it's a number six and a number four hook. He's got them attached to a piece of cork just to kind of hold them there, but the cork could easily be used as a bobber. You could easily take the blade, cut it lengthwise, and then just loop it through, do a single overhand knot, with the, with the fishing line that's here, and that would hold as a bobber. Take your slip knot, your little slip weight, sinker weight, attach it to the line, and you'd be able to go fishing uh, in, a, in an emergency situation, guys. That's really cool. You get that you've got the fishing kit. Well, you've also got some jute twine. I'm sorry, I missed the jute twine. The jute twine goes with the fire kit as a fire starter. You gotta like that. That's just cool. <coughs> and I like the fact that the whole thing comes with 12 feet or 2 feet of 22 gauge stainless steel wire. Uh, you could use it to hang the cup over something, use it for a snare, um, or use it as a type of cordage. I mean, 2 feet of stainless steel, you could wrap up. If you're dealing with things that get hot in an emergency, you can use this to stop it, to hold something and bind it whether it's keeping something from getting close to a motor or whatever it might be. There's a lot of applications you could use that thing through. And then, of course, this was one of the coolest things. I, I mean, I really, really like this. This is a coffee filter that they've printed all the instructions on how to use everything here. And it's also a coffee filter used to filter sediment for a water filter. That is awesome, guys. Um, you've got 12 foot of cordage. A 550 paracord, seven strand. That's what we unwrapped around it. That is some cool stuff. And I mean, everything in here is just very useful. This was well thought out. I like when you meet somebody and you talk to them and you get a taste of their thought process. You can tell by looking at this kit that this took a lot of thought by somebody. It wasn't just thrown together. Craig did a really good job. And I mean, I was, I'm impressed. I mean, it really is a cool, cool kit. Check them out, guys. Go to firewatersurvival.com. 
you won't regret it. Check him out. Support him. I was really happy to find out he was a local. He's a member of law enforcement. He is a really nice guy. And um, great product. Great product. He's also got the crucifix. That's my, this is on my keychain. And it is a fire starter. Magnesium and a ferro rod. And this is another one of his products. And I keep this on my EDC keychain. One of my keychains, and that's my one I carry most of the time. Hope everybody gets a chance to check him out. If you're new to our channel, subscribe right over there. Like and comment below. Join us on social media. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. And above all, guys, get out there. Enjoy this stuff. This stuff right here is an amazing little bundle of gear. Um, you've got to know how to use it, though. It doesn't do you any good if you can't use it and you don't know how to start a fire with a ferro rod. These are acquired skills. You do have to practice, uh, especially when you're dealing with magnesium and stuff. Check it out, guys. Check out their website. I think he's even got some YouTube videos. Hope everybody has a blessed week. Get out there. Enjoy nature. Be prepared and stay safe. God bless everybody. We'll talk to you later.